So I was reading the New York Times and I went to the health section and my jaw dropped. I saw this article about how some researchers had um, been discussing the, the viability of the withdrawal method, which, which is a birth control uh, technique that I've been warned against ever since I was 12 years old. And why were you offended by the article? Well, the first of all, the title was very suspect. Um, better than nothing, uh, the importance of withdrawal, these were all things that were in the, in the title. And there was a reference to withdrawals as, as a possible, as a savvy kind of risk reduction method. Um, the content was, was fairly responsible. There was a lot of fence sitting and ass covering, uh, which is normal for any adult who makes their living doing research and writing about it. But um, the, the, the researchers really were endorsing this. And, um, and I felt that it was tone deaf because they didn't realize they were implying that the method is underappreciated. And they didn't seem to understand what was going on, like at parties and in dormitories and in bars, you know, and that, that people are picking each other up and having a lot of casual sex and uh, sometimes proposing this as a method. They frequently proposing this as a method. And why do you think that the pull-out method is flawed? Well, there are a couple of things going on um, when we look at the pull-out method. There's a statistical aspect and than a psychological, like real-world aspect. Statistically, um, it's it's not as effective as condoms. The researchers exaggerated uh, how close withdrawal is to condoms in terms of effectiveness. Uh, there ha they claimed that there hadn't been enough research, but in fact, there have been a lot of studies over the last two decades in about 25 countries, and they've actually found that um, the effective, the failure rate of condoms is about 5%, typically average, and it's almost double that for withdrawal. So the, that's flawed. Um, then we have to look at the, the risk of getting a sexually transmitted disease and not just something fatal or obvious, um, but perhaps a virus that your body can live with, but that it is for a long time, but which ultimately is harmful. Um, and uh, there, there are infections that harm your fertility. Uh, so if you want to have children later, using withdrawal could actually be like, a problem. Uh, on top of that, there's an emotional aspect of sex that, that I'm very familiar with. When you're in love with somebody and you're having sex with him, you could have a lot of ambivalent feelings about conception. You may know consciously that having a child isn't right for you, that you can't afford it. Um, but you know, you, you could be very drawn to the idea of getting knocked up by him. And I've had that experience, even though I'm somebody who wants to be child free. And I think that if you're using proper birth control, you know, medical birth control as opposed to withdrawal, it's a lot, it's a safer, you can enjoy that ambivalence and explore those feelings and at the same time protect your body. Withdrawal is a really dicey method to be using when you're having those feelings and a lot of us are feeling that, you know, and, you know, and we feel differently about conception today than we did a hundred years ago. We don't think, it, we don't just take it for granted that we will get pregnant with someone we're attracted to. Do you think that women take birth control more seriously than men? There is an assumption that women are more concerned about birth control for obvious reasons, but and men historically haven't always been that well behaved. But um, I have heard from a lot of male readers who uh, recall being pressured by their female sex partners in college to use withdrawal or to use the calendar method, which. I find it interesting, and, and they're also kind of shocked and horrified because it's like, why are educated women using, promoting this method to their male partners? Do you think that the pull-out method is more common in New York than in the rest of the U.S.? <laughs> I would hope that uh, people in New York are, the, I'm sorry if this sounds elitist, but we're supposed to be ahead of the country in certain respects. Um, why would people come all the way from the middle of the country to New York just to use, you know, uh, a birth control method?
that, that is really associated with being um, uh, with a lack of, of resources, with a lack of education, you know, with, with you know a certain kind of cultural and economic poverty. That's not why people come to New York. 